today I'm going to be trying the Bose Alto frames. I'm really, really excited to find out exactly what these things are capable of, but more importantly, find out why nearly nobody has bought them. Welcome back to another episode of Stu's Reviews. So these are Bose's, wait, is that the right grammatical term? Bose's, Bose, Bo by Bose? What's interesting is that these don't have any form of holographic display or heads up display like the Google Glass, so they don't implement augmented reality like we're used to. Instead, they use audio only augmented reality. So I'm really excited to try these out and find out exactly what they're supposed to be. Now, on their website, they've got these as being described as able to take microacoustics and voice control to an entirely new level, debuting the future of mobile sound in the tiniest, thinnest, most lightweight Bose system ever. So, it does sound rather interesting, but there's a bit of a caveat and a bit of a story here. Bose seem to be taking a step back from pretty much everything. Obviously, they've been hit hard by, unfortunately, the coronavirus, like many companies will. But they've taken a real step back from augmented reality because they even shuttered their augmented reality department, along with loads of different stores around the world. And what's even more interesting is that back in April, they closed their SDK. So no apps could be developed for these. And as well as that, they've also said that any apps developed for these are gonna stop working within the next 30 days, which is exactly why I've got hold of the pair of these so that I can test them out before they disappear off into the dark night like they've never existed. But what I found really, really interesting is that they're still currently for sale on their website. Now you'd think if they turned around and basically cut a massive core functionality of the Bose Alto glasses out of the actual product, they'd stop selling it pretty much immediately, right? Well, no, they're still on their website and at pretty much full price as well, which I find perplexing. But anyway, I think it's time for me to get these open and find out exactly what these are all about. I'm genuinely super excited. Okay, let's open these up. Okay, we've got a nice, that was unexpected actually. We've got a nice case here, nice sunglasses case. It's very bows. Feels very Bose, anyway, the shape of it, anyway. Let's open this up. Okay, bit of a magnetic popper. And there they are. Ooh. Okay. How do, okay, this opens further. Oh, excellent. And there they are. Okay, what else is in the box? We've got, let's just find out what this is first. Charging cable. Okay, it's their own sort of magnetic design. Looks a bit like the Amazfit style. Okay, and that appears to be it in the box. Okay, it's not like the Snapchat specs. They don't charge in the case, which is a, an awesome design, by the way. I love the Snapchat specs. The fact that they can charge inside the case. That, when I originally reviewed the first pair of Snapchat specs anyway, they were incredible. And I really, really loved that. I should try some of the new ones because I love the design. First impressions are those are some chunky arms, kind of flared at the back and then kind of sit thin here behind your ears. Quite angular looking, quite angular looking, but overall not such a bad design. I actually quite like these. And we've got the charging port on the middle just there. Okay, let's try these on. Okay, well they don't dim things that much. They're not super, di I don't know about the comfort actually. They sit, they seem to sit fairly low on my face. They don't seem to go back far enough. This flare bit is pushing them down my nose a bit. Oh, that's a bit disappointing. Maybe they don't fit me that well. It seems like this bit here is a little bit too long for my face. Obviously I've got a bit of a narrow face. It's a little bit uncomfortable and seems to be sitting a little bit low on my brow line. Hmm, not sure I like that. 
not to worry, not to worry. What I'll do is I'll get this paired up. I'm going to give it a go anyway. So this is going to be a bit of a discovery session right now. And then I'm going to take them away and actually use them and then give you my final thoughts at the end of this review. Ah, there we are. Straight away in the app. That's good. So drag to connect. There we are. Pair Bluetooth. I'm paired up and I can hear a little bit of white noise coming through them. Oh, hold on. Apparently, this doesn't seem to work at all. It doesn't want to connect. Okay, with the frame part. So far, this hasn't been a positive experience. Oh, my days. This really is such a poor experience. I've tried quite a few different things to try and get these to pair, but they really do not want to pair in any capacity. And the instructions are damn near minimal. We're there. We're there now. I've got there. Right. Nickname it. Surprise me. Disco baller. That'll do. That's fine. Let's give this a go then. Okay, I've got it on quite quiet now. Interesting. I'd be interested to know how much it's picking up on the mic. So white noise is quite audible from it still. Let's turn it up a little bit. Okay, we're at halfway. Oh, well, it's not bad. It's a quite unusual sensation having two little speakers directly outside your ear playing music into it, but actually it's not bad. Okay, let's chuck it up. Let's chuck the volume up. Okay, I'm on about 75% now. It's got good clarity. The bass isn't that thundery. Uh, and, you know, if you compare this to the Q10s, which I tried the other day, which had thundering bass, there is a very, very big difference between them. But they're not bad. Right, let's turn it on full. So this is full now, full volume. It's not definitely loud, but I could definitely hear it if I was walking down the street. But the question is, can you hear it as well? Let's put this next to you. I mean, it's a lot quieter than I anticipated. I'm going to use this head that I've got here. I'm going to pretend that's me on the bus. You see, if I was sitting next to this individual on the bus, who was listening to music on the bus this loud next to me with these glasses, I'd very quickly throw them out of the window. That is quite obtrusive. I don't know what I look like, by the way. I don't know if I look good or bad or what. It's certainly a different form factor to what I'm used to. It's not headphones, it's not speakers, it's somewhere in between. Would these have been more interesting or better with some form of bone conduction? Probably, and they would have been less obtrusive as well to other people. Now we've had a look at that, I think it's probably time we take a look at the other features that are available because, as far as I'm aware, after the next few weeks, that's pretty much all they'll be able to do. But I'd be interested in finding out what else I can do with this. But there is a product update, so I'll let it update first and I'll come back to it. Right. Ugh. This review is about to take a very unexpected turn for both me and you. So I've just been off updating these glasses and listening to some music and seeing exactly what they're about. And you know, the music's not too bad, but I thought, you know what, let's have a look now at some of the other features. Let's have a look at the augmented reality apps. Now, I did mention earlier that the apps will stop working and that they've closed the AR division. Well, I found that the little apps that are, that are out there for this device, pretty much don't work anyway. So it's easy to see why Bose AR have decided to shut down because there's just no development for this platform. So what does that mean for the Bose Alto frames? Well, it means that the kind of big functionality and big features that they kind of pushed originally, the fact that they are augmented reality, just aren't there. So what are they then? Well, they're sunglasses with great big bloody speakers on them. And they're not even particularly comfortable. 
So, I guess here are my final thoughts. I'm going to be super honest here. I didn't quite expect my journey of discovery with the Bose frames to be quite as short as this. And normally I like to spend a little bit longer with devices before sharing my critical opinion. These, however, aren't exactly feature rich. And at this moment in time, the only real feature is that they play music. And even then, they aren't exactly anything super special. The sound is okay. I mean, fine. If you consider that the sound is coming from tiny speakers positioned in the arms of a pair of sunglasses, then the sound is actually pretty impressive. But in comparison to literally any type of conventional ear-related audio equipment, these things fall way short of expectations. And that's a shame, because I really wanted something magical from these, but they haven't really got that wow functionality I was looking for. Except... When you hold the button down on the side and turn your head like that to control the music. But other than that, that's about the only magical thing about these. Alongside this, I'm not a huge fan of the design. They feel rather plasticky and nowhere near as premium as they should. An expectation which was set quite early on with the high price tag of nearly £200. I've never really thought of myself as having a bulbous head, but the fact that these were the large frames and even they didn't fit particularly well, it definitely added to the rather disappointing experience. Bose definitely gets a gold star for trying and experimenting because I wish more companies would take a risk and release wacky new products like this. But do these glasses pave a way for a new form factor of ear-related audio? Unfortunately, I don't think they do, and if one day they disappeared from the ether, never to be seen again, I hate to say it, but I wouldn't miss them. So I guess that pretty much concludes today's episode. Ultimately, these are a crushing disappointment to what I'd expected. I mean, I love Bose stuff. I love Bose stuff. I've always loved their headphones. I've always loved their speakers. They do some incredible stuff. But these, for me, just really miss the mark, especially if now the core functionality is only music. But... That's all from me today. Guys, thanks very much for joining. And if you're new to Studio Reviews, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because it'll help me out. It'll help you see more Studio Reviews. But seriously, thanks for joining and I'll see you back for another episode of Studio Reviews soon. What a shame. Honestly, I expected so much more. Yeah. <sighs>